What's up guys this is Rani welcome back to our channel Total Technology this is tutorial 11 uh, from the Active Directory Automation tutorial and today's topic will be how to get user account uh, expiration date or account expiration date from the Active Directory. So before uh, uh, like moving uh, forward so guys this is uh, this is uh, tutorial number 11 and the last tutorial was uh, uh, I think uh, maybe four or five months back because I was very busy with some other tutorial I'm not getting any uh, response for this active directory tutorial so I thought of uh, like uh, uh, stop this series but uh, for uh, last couple of months I'm getting uh, so many response so many comments and many of you already sent me some email that I should start this tutorial series again and uh, that is the main reason I'm starting this again this is going to be uh, again very detailed series so uh, those are actually watching this tutorial for the first time I will highly recommend you guys to go back and watch the other 10 videos first and then jump in to this series because we have already covered most of the basic parts so from this series onward it will be kind of uh, intermediate and after that we'll uh, discuss about some inter uh, advanced topic and reporting structure so first thing first uh, what do you mean by account expiration date so let me uh, make it a bigger so if you open active directory and if you go to the account tab so here you will find something like end of uh, this it means in that date the account will be disabled automatically okay this is the active directory feature so suppose you have a requirement that if your 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 uh, your department owner wants to know that uh, how many users are going to be uh, deactivated within uh, three uh, within uh, next three months so what you'll do you'll get the data from active directory then you can use some sort of uh, filter on this date and easily you can get like uh, within which date it's uh, going to be deactivated so for that you need to pull the user record from the active directory it's possible using manual or vv script powershell but as we are living in the modern age of python so i think it's good to use uh, python so that is why i am trying to uh, use it so now uh, the actual thing how to do that so to do that i think i have to open my uh, remote desktop where actually my domain controllers are installed so this is the active directory so uh, if you open this user right click go to properties and if you go to account tab see this is actually I meant okay but this is from the UI point of view like some sort of interface or GUI but what will be the actual attribute so if you go to the attribute editor so this is the attribute account expert so you need to fetch that attribute value from the active directory then you will get the report or data so for that what you have to do it so let me write tutorial 11 get account expiration date from active directory okay so for that what you have to do you have to import the library so from PyAD import everything okay so next thing import maybe date time I'm not sure if anything will it so next thing so for example uh, let's say we want to get this user uh, so I think let me check this user CN so CN is this one okay so let me write this thing so user equals to all know pi ad dot ad uh, user dot ad user uh, from cn and probably here we need to give the cn okay and after that uh, you can use uh, something uh, to print the data so the expiration date will be user dot uh, get attribute and we need to put the attribute value so sorry attribute name so attribute name you all know we have seen here like uh, let me go to the attribute editor so this account expires so let me copy paste this thing here okay and after that we will print this thing okay so print so some magic will happen now so just uh, just uh, uh, just try to understand the next few minutes uh, quite uh, uh, attentively or else it will be difficult okay so let me run this thing so if you run this thing I'm getting this thing com object dot get x so 
uh, if you open this thing see this is our value which is kind of uh, epoch format uh, which is uh, not exactly human readable this is readable but uh, this is not uh, the expected one so if you open this thing from here it is like this from here it is like this so it is some value in second from uh, year 1980 okay and you have to minus if you minus the, that date with it from this date you will get this thing so again this is kind of internal thing if you want to know about more this thing just search in the google and account expiration date format you will know so our objective is to to convert this value into uh, date time format for doing that you have some utility uh, so it will be like uh, from pi ad dot uh, I think bought everything okay so let's run this thing okay so now what will happen we'll run pi ad dot ad uh, ad utilities dot convert date time okay so here you have to use this thing okay and put this thing okay so what is happening here so we are getting some values which is not in date time format and we are formatting this value using this uh, special utility method available within PyAD function. So for that we need to import PyAD dot PyAD utils import star. Okay. So again we'll get some error if you run this thing. Let's see it. I will tell you why I'm getting an error. See I'm getting list object is uh, has no attribute called hyper. So for that you have to add one more thing that is called false. Okay. So you have to use this is how I know this thing. So uh, let me tell you if you go here and if you see this thing uh, how it is doing this thing if you click in this so here um, convert date time um, no i think here um, if you think date time convert let me check what is actually happening here mm. okay i will i will tell you from other part but uh, i'll explain this thing but for the timing just try to focus on this thing for okay sorry it will be like i think like this see we got this thing okay now main question is that how i uh, got to know this false so there is no rocket science behind this thing i can explain this thing because while doing practice i came to know so i will tell you guys to follow the same thing so it will be like just like uh, user dot uh, some time by default time attribute um, user dot get last login if you click on guest last login this is an attribute so if you click this thing okay see uh, it is using this method okay it's a by this is a default uh, or out of the box uh, uh, method which is which, which comes within pi ad so it is actually using the same thing and here you have to pass false so what happened actually when i was trying to work on this on one one of my uh, one of my projects in my assignment that time i was not able to convert this value when i uh, use um, get last login so it is also some sort of time right last login means when you are uh, logged in when you, you your user logged in to the system for the last time it is also some sort of time so when i go there and i from the documentation i found that they are using this method like pi ed utils dot convert date time method then i import and after that i tried but that time also it is throwing some error because there is no high part then i came to know like we need to use this part means false so then actually i got the answer so this is very simple guys so i know many of you are not familiar with active directory and the attributes but uh, trust me guys if you are going to start your career with some normal uh, uh, from normal programmer to uh, or college graduate or whatever if you are going to work as a system administrator the first job is to run your windows system or linux system uh, uh, you have to know uh, your windows system and linux system in detail so when you are talking about windows system you must have the knowledge about active directory and domain controllers or other stuff and when you are 
when you want to know something more about Active Directory, you must know about the user and their properties. For example, your uh, your manager will ask you or your team leader will ask you, go and check how many user is going to be disabled uh, within three months. So you do not know by which attribute you can identify that which user is going to be disabled within three months. So you have to identify that account expiration date. So now you know the attribute, now how to get the data. So if you know this four lines of or five lines of code, you can impress your manager and all and definitely they will be happy and your company will be uh, like happy to invest on you so that's it guys so what we'll do uh, i will try to uh, uh, like elaborate uh, some more use cases from the future videos this is actually that 11th tutorial so 12th tutorial i'll explain some other part as well but uh, uh, in future probably after one week or two weeks after uploading four or five more tutorials we'll be going to start working on the advanced topic okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the like button uh, hit the notification uh, bell icon so you should not miss any notification from the next time and also if you have any doubt any suggestion any feedback or any clarification you want to uh, clear some doubt please feel free to reach me out i always there to help you and thank you very much for all the udemy students thanks for buying this course it is actually helping a lot to uh, create some uh, uh, effective content for all of you guys. And I will promise I will uh, keep up my quality uh, always at the harsh side. So that's it guys. We will see you in the next video. Till then take care. Goodbye and have a nice day and happy.